Oh, hi, I'm Alan Kelly. I'm the CEO and founder of Playmaker Systems. We're a Bethesda-based management consultancy with a specialization in competitive and influence strategy. Oh, that's a huge question. Uh, from the perspective of what we do, uh, as much as I hate to admit it, I think age is, is now really a very relevant component in the willingness of, of companies to co co-invent and co-create. Uh, we see it over and over and over, over, and over again that, that uh, those of an older generation uh, have a particular plan and a way and a paradigm to work in. Those that are younger don't. And I'm 53 and I hate to admit it, but we see it over and over again. Well, I can speak from, from, from our own experience. We have a, an ontology of influence strategies that is that is the first tested standard, if you will, of irreducible, what I call elements of influence. And it, 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 because it is a standard, it allows different people of different ages, of different uh, uh, titles and stripes, backgrounds and cultures, to have a common lexicon on how to properly maneuver and push and pull uh, and influence particular people in different directions. It, it gives them, allows them to, to all be on the same song sheet, if you will. Well, I think not many. I think that's, if, if, if in my category of influence strategy, uh, we are really lacking uh, standards. We, we have gone very quickly past, I think, needed explicated systems that tell us the row and the seat number that we work within. There is a, there is a great uh, enthrallment right now for reputation and reputation management, and yet that's a third-party effect, and yet it's a shared responsibility, and yet it's entirely subjective. They don't, they're, they're all studying reputation management, they're studying values, they're studying trusts, but they haven't, they haven't afforded themselves the system that would help them define that sort of work. Well, the, I can tell you what we're wondering about, and that is that how do you take how do you take standard systems in influence strategy and make them available on a co-created basis? I came to this conference ready to speak about my particular system. But what it's clear to me is that I have, in fact, an engagement platform. Well, how do I do that? Do you do it through, simply through an iPad app? Do you do it through a, a, a different sort of mobile app? Do you do it through a web app? Do you think more broadly? You know, one of the, this, this conference, so much of it is about innovation. And, and I come from Silicon Valley. I'm, you know, sort of birthed there professionally, if you will. The problem, the, the good and the bad of innovation is that we have so much of it. Um, and I think that we're in a situation now where we ought, to be, we ought to be innovating for what we need to have rather than simply what we can have. There's kind of a spoilage, an intellectual spoilage that's occurring where we're innovating just because. And, and that is part of what I mean, that is it takes us too far and past the things, past the, the bases that we need to establish first. I think, I think there needs to be innovation, and certainly co-innovation, because we can get more parties in, involved. But there needs to be the sort of innovation that will give us, uh, that will take us to where we need to be, rather than where we just simply can be.